Right, how's everyone doing? Good, I hope I know. I hope you you can see me, you know. Sorry about it, but I'll just put them in bed, you know. So, I want to talk about the Atari VCS3, and we said, uh, whenever there's a, a negative video put up on YouTube about the Atari VCS, I'm going to make a positive one, right? So, last week around, right, there was a game on the Atari VCS star called Template Title Test 1, right? Now, I paid 10 euro for this game, right? And uh, it wouldn't install, and eventually it just it went all together from the Atari VCS star, right? Now, I know that the people that work at Atari are honest people, and I know that they didn't scam me, you know? So, uh, we contacted Atari's apart, and I told them, uh, what's the story? Like, I paid 10, 10 euro for this game, where is it, you know? Now, we didn't ask them for a refund. We just said, could, could you help me solve this problem, please? Because I'm a nice guy, you see. And I don't believe in roaring and shouting at people is going to get it and sort it out. Now, uh, so, they, so we got an email well, a few, well, an hour or so ago saying that uh, the guy was put up in the star by accident, but they're going to give me a full refund. So, you know, People make mistakes, and you know, fair play to them for, for giving me a refund because I wouldn't even ask for a refund, you know. So, what I'm saying to you is, uh, you know, um, the people at Atari are good people, you know, they're a small team and they make mistakes just like everybody else does. And they didn't scam me, they didn't scam anybody. So, that's how I feel about the situation. But there's other people on YouTube that see it in a different way. You know, they see, they think that Atari are after robbing them of a game, that they broke into their Atari VCS and they stole a game from them. Well, they gave, they gave us all a, a refund without asking for it. And they, they stated it was an accident. They did, this is a game that they didn't meant to go on to the store. Now, some people might think that's bullshit. A game just doesn't go on to the start by accident, but people make mistakes. They're human beings just like everybody else, you know. And uh, I would like to say, well done to all the people that work at Atari. They are very smart team. They're nowhere near as big as Nintendo or Sony or Microsoft, and they're doing the best they can. And every problem that we've had with the Atari VCS are, have been minor. Stuff like this, and they've always fixed the problem for me, you know. So, we say well done so like i know there's people on youtube that are, are taking this differently they see atari as fraudsters and scammers and stuff and they're not they, they made a mistake the email said the guy went up on the star by accident and they would give us all a refund and like i said we didn't ask for refunds but so i just want to put that this video out there you know uh, you know, as a positive video because, you know, we haven't been scammed and Atari are not scammers. It's just, as, that's my opinion and that's it. And like I said, like, uh, be nice to people, especially to the people that Atari support or whoever it is that, 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 that you're dealing with. They're human beings and they make mistakes just like everybody else and rather than shouting at people, whether it, whether it tires apart or whatever, won't get you anywhere. It just makes you look like a, uh, an idiot, a dickhead, to be honest with you. And there's no reason to be, to do that to anybody. Yes, I know, you see, they, they made a mistake, you know. And I know that I'm, I'm defending these people, but I know for a fact that these are good, honest people. It's, it's a smart team, and they make mistakes. And it, 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 it takes a bit longer for them to, to reach everybody because they are such a smart team and like I said they gave us all a refund this this game uh, te template test uh, 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 one right so anyway uh, I was going to put this video out there uh, the Atari V says is awesome the people that work at Atari are awesome and like I said they're honest people 
and that's the, the, the biggest difference in this Atari company than previous Atari companies because we've been around through them all you know from, you know from the 70s 80s 90s and the big difference in my opinion as, as to why this Atari company is better than the other ones is because they're honest and they do fix problems especially Atari uh, support you know so I hope this video goes up on YouTube as a this is a positive video because like I said that there, there are a few negative videos up on YouTube already about this situation saying that Atari are scammers and that they're actually breaking into your Atari VCS and taking the game back from you you know what I mean but no the game was never meant to be there on the start of the first place it's an, it's an accident it is an accident and there is no wrong doing with her you know so like I said you know that's my opinion on the situation uh, people might say why am I defending them because we know that these are good honest people and they're human beings and they make a mistake just like everybody else does so what I'm saying is Ryan and Shelton isn't going to solve it you know they gave us all a refund I mean like I said I didn't ask for a refund I just said when when we noticed that the game wasn't working and it went it went from the start completely, you just said, "Could you help me fix this problem?" Because we wanted to play this game too. We wanted this game too, but it wasn't meant, meant to be there in the first place. It was, it was an accident. People make mistakes. That's all I'm saying. So I hope everyone has a good day out there. Uh, the Atari VCS is awesome. It has a, a great future ahead of it. It's not finished. Don't listen to the haters out there. It's brilliant. And it, it's going to get even better as time goes on. So I hope everyone has a good day out there. Take care, boy boy.